Today I had the opportunity to talk quietly and at length with my almost 90 year old grandmother and I lived with her for about two years <clears throat> when I was a kid. And I lived with her because my mother was incapable of caring for me and my brother and was in the habit of leaving us with other family members. And I said something to my grandmother today, which was that I have no emotion memory. I have factual memories, but I have no emotion memory of all of the rejection and all of the abandonment that happened throughout my childhood. Now in the background, you can see a building here in Launceston called Richie's Mill. And when I lived with my grandmother, she was so worried about me that uh, she enrolled me in some classes here at Richie's Mill. Used, they used to run puppetry and other arts and crafts activities. It's now a very high-end restaurant. Um, <clears throat> and I said, I have no memory of how I felt during those years. I have no memory of crying. I have no memory of being distressed. And she looked at me and for the first time in a very long time I saw very deep pain in her eyes and she said to me I'm very glad that you can't remember that she said that uh, it caused her and my grandfather no end of distress and worry and I think she was genuinely surprised that I can't remember how I felt as a child to have been so abandoned and even though I can't remember how I felt during those years, I know that they were formative experiences for me. Learning to stand alone and to stand with trust in myself because that was all I had. My grandparents wanted to adopt me and I think my life would have been much more stable if they had, even though my father did his very best job. My mother was very disruptive. And I think as a business owner, those experiences, over time I can now see that those experiences taught me how to weather storms, how to not buy into the emotions of situations and how to just see my way through by just focusing on moving forward one step at a time. So even though I can't remember my own pain from childhood, my almost 90 year old grandmother today gave me a very strong lesson just by the opportunity I had to witness the pain in her eyes at remembering that pain that I experienced. It was the first opportunity I'd ever had <clears throat> to see reflected in any way from anyone that I actually did feel pain because I don't remember it I don't remember pain I just remember facts I don't remember emotions and so you know as a kid I squashed that down that was my survival strategy and in my work as a psychologist I know that kids who do that if they don't have someone rock solid to pull them through it they become very unhealthy adults psychologically speaking and so thank God for my grandmother who pulled me through she was my anchor she always has been and my dad to some extent but my grandmother's my business mentor too so I always have that legacy as well anyway that's as emotional as we're likely to get um, I'm gonna think a lot more about this and I'm gonna think about about some of the uh, lessons <clears throat> that some of the lessons that I can share with others that whole concept of finding the proof in yourself sometimes you need a witness sometimes you need somebody outside you who witnessed the strength that you had even if you can't remember it yourself and that's what I got today was my witness my grandmother is my witness 
she witnessed a very distressed and pained child. All I remember is surviving and moving forward. Anyway, here's some sunset for you. This is Launceston. It's in the north of Tasmania. It's very pretty. It's where I'm from. It's where I was born. It's where I grew up. Sharpening pencils from my nana after school. Right down to the stubs, she'll say. <laughs> That's it for today. I'm going now. Bye.